The line segments in this square connect corners to midpoints. What fraction of the larger square is green? Rearranging the triangles can quickly lead us to an answer. It looks like the green area is a fifth of the area of the whole square. To make sure that this is true, we'll need to prove the squares are all congruent. First, we'll get some facts about the angles in each triangle. These angles together compose a corner of the square, so they sum to 90 degrees. Each triangle contains these two angles. So now we can determine what the third yellow angle is in each triangle. Since the triangle's angles sum to 180 degrees, the yellow angle must be 90 degrees. This angle's opposite and complementary angles must be 90 degrees as well. Now we will show the smaller triangles are similar to the large triangles. We know the small and large triangles have two angles with the same measurements, the blue angles and the yellow angles. So by angle-angle similarity, they are similar. The large triangle sides are twice as long as the small triangle's corresponding sides. So the side with the purple mark is half the length of the sides with the red marks. We're almost there. Now we know enough to rotate the small triangles, and this time prove that they form congruent squares. The angles are all right angles, and the side lengths are all the same. The five squares have the same area, so the green square has a fifth the area of the total shape. And you can try this extension. What is the green area if we adjust where the line segments connect? Instead of connecting to midpoints, what if they connect a third of the way down the sides? Or a fourth? 